you you have been a, a performer in Atlantic City casinos for a long time. What's it like to come and get an award like this for you? <laughs> well, the simple way of putting it is it's an honor to get get an award like this and to be in the company that we were in tonight. Uh, so I, 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 I felt anticlimactic after the Isley Brothers and Rita Rudner and, uh, and, and Carlos Santana, but um, I'm very honored, very honored. You're a singer in the uh, a classic showroom tradition. You put on, a, put on a real show. What do you think of the, what's passing for music lately, for musical entertainment for the millennial generation? Oh, I love, I'm, I'm some, I love new music. Um, I'm not one of those who says uh, they don't write them like they used to, because when people say that, I say they're not supposed to write them like they used to. Just like they weren't supposed to write them like they used to when I was a young singer. Um, I think there are some brilliantly talented people, and people like Bruno Mars, and uh, who are not only singers and writers, but entertainers. And they're going to keep this kind of live entertainment excitement alive for a lot of years. Jerry Lewis passed away recently here in Las Vegas. He's a, you must have played with him uh, in numerous times on the telethon. How did he help you reach a, a broader audience? Well, I don't know that Jerry helped me reach a broader audience. What Jerry helped me do is understand the giving part of what we do. Because he was such a giving man. Uh, and and uh, you watch him, and then I did get to do the telethon with him several times. And that's when you really see it. You see the hours and hours. He doesn't go to sleep. He doesn't take a minute off. He's exhausted, but he's still there. So Jerry Lewis and a few others taught me how important it is as an entertainer to give back. The events of this week here in Las Vegas, were you around? Yeah, I was here. Um, it's, 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 it's unthinkable, and yet it's almost expected that something horrible would happen. We all prayed that it would never happen, but now it has. And now we have to deal with it. And now I say we, the families of those, the families of the people who were hurt and killed have to deal with it. But we as an entertainment community and we as people who live here have to deal with it too. And as usual, we have to rise. We have to rise together, we have to rise above. And we can't let it stop why we're here, why we're here which is to give people a release. So it's incredibly sad. Um, there's no way around that. But we will rise together. You chose to sing hallelujah at the end of your acceptance speech. Yeah. When, when did that come to you? <laughs> While I was standing there. I just felt, I just felt, uh, I, I don't know. That's a song that I sing at the end of my show, and it just felt right in that moment. Uh, not to necessarily do the whole song, but to get to the point where we could all sing together. That was the point of it. Are you concerned that people might be afraid to come to shows at casinos now after this attack? Yeah, um, but again, we'll get over it. We'll get past it. I, I do believe that. I get it. I, I, I have a granddaughter, and she's going to a concert. She's got tickets to a concert in two weeks, and we talked about it the other day. She's going to go, but I, I, it's just horrible that they have to, any of us have to have that in the back of our minds when we're going to enjoy music. But again, we'll get past it.